Hi friends! My name is Mina Harris and I am the author of Kamala and Maya's Big Idea. Thank you so much for the opportunity to read my brand new children's book to you. It is so special to me and it's amazing to put it into the world and get to read it to audiences like you. So thank you. All right, should we get started? Kamala and Maya's Big Idea by Mina Harris, illustrated by Ana Ramirez Gonzalez. All right. You know what should be out there? Kamala asked her sister Maya. Us? said Maya. A slide, said Kamala. And a swing, Maya added. A playground, they shouted together. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. They were going to need help. Wouldn't it be great if there was a playground in the courtyard, Maya said. That does sound nice, Mommy agreed. How can we make that happen, Kamala asked. Well, I suppose the first step would be to ask the landlord, the person who owns the building. So Kamala and Maya wrote a letter and Maya drew a picture and they went out to see the landlord to discuss their idea. The landlord thought about it for less than a second. Mm, I don't think so, no. That was not the answer they wanted, but they weren't ready to give up. That night, the sisters tried to think of ways to turn a no into a yes. They asked the other kids in the building if they wanted a playground in the courtyard. Did they? Of course they did. And they had ideas too. Let's have a teeter-totter and a basketball hoop and flowers. So Kamala wrote a longer letter and they went to see the landlord together. All right, let's read this letter, shall we? Dear landlord, right now the courtyard of our building is empty and no one uses it. If there were swings, kids could fly high. If there was a sandbox, kids could build. If there was a slide, kids could go so far, so fast. Can you build it, please? The landlord thought about it for less than five seconds. A project this big is expensive. We don't have money for that. Do your parents know you're here? This was not the answer they wanted, but Kamala was not ready to give up. If we ask our parents and do it all ourselves, can we fix up the courtyard? The landlord thought about that for a whole 10 seconds. Finally, he shrugged. If you can do it yourselves, sure. All right, we're getting somewhere. That wasn't exactly the answer they wanted, but it was a start. The kids all spoke to their parents about their ideas for the courtyard. They hung up posters and knocked on neighbors' doors. But the, they got the same answer from everyone. I'm sorry, wow, that is a big job. Wish I could help, which they knew meant no, no, no. But then Mr. Green stopped to talk. I work construction. I could maybe get some scrap lumber and some sand for a sandbox. Oh, really? Kamala said, yes, exclaimed Maya. Okay, I'll try. It wasn't a yes, but right now maybe was the sweetest word they had ever heard. Maybe gave them hope. The next weekend, maybe turned into yes. The kids all helped measure and Mr. Green cut the boards. Then they sanded and hammered and sanded some more. And then came the actual sand. They were all thanking Mr. Green when Ms. Lopez stopped to talk. I work at a garage. Maybe they have an extra tire for a teeter-totter. <gasps> Another maybe. In the weeks that followed, lots of I don't knows turned into maybes and then yeses. No one could do everything, but everyone could do something. Kamala and Maya wanted everyone to celebrate the new playground, so they made another big poster inviting their neighbors to a potluck party. There were hot dogs and hummus, spicy chicken and potato salad, strawberries and brownies and lemonade. 
Mrs. Flores set up a sprinkler for the kids to run through, and Mr. Green brought the music. Kamala admired the new playground, but she noticed there was still one thing missing. Hmm. What could that be? No one knew how to make a slide, but Miss Flores knew where they might buy one. I teach at Emerson Elementary, and they're redoing their playground. Maybe we could buy the old slide? This was a different kind of maybe. A how can we afford that maybe? But now everyone was trying to find a way to turn that maybe into a yes. These brownies are delicious. Maybe we could have a bake sale? We can all bring toys and cookies and have a sidewalk sale. Great idea. No one could do everything, but everyone could contribute something. When the slide arrived at last, Maya and Kamala got the first ride. The landlord was impressed. I want to shake your hands, girls, he said. You did a good job. You all did a good job. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. And with a lot of help, they made it happen. Hooray for Kamala and Maya! Hooray for the Persisters! What's next, Kamala? Kamala, looking up, said, I'm wondering what the view is like from the roof. And that's my book! So at the end, I have a bunch of pictures that are really special to me. And the first one that you can see here is of my mom and aunt when they were much younger. And I just loved looking at that picture. It always sat on the bookshelf in my grandma's house. And it actually ended up inspiring the cover. See, they're standing back to back. This picture is another one of them that I think is just awesome. They have really great outfits. And they just look like they own the sidewalk. I mean, they look so powerful as these two little girls. And that's totally how I saw them as a kid. I looked up to them so much and thought that they were the most extraordinary people. And I still do. And this picture is very, very special to me. That is my grandmother and my mom and aunt when they were little. And my grandmother uh, was such a huge figure in my life. And as I said at the beginning, She's someone who told me over and over again that I had a role to play, that I could contribute something, that I could do something, and that I had a duty to do something in my community and to make positive social change. And right now, especially with all of the protests that are happening, it's pretty awesome to get to open this book and talk to my kids about what's going on in the world and point to that picture and say, that's my grandma and she was a protester too. And she taught me about the importance of protest. and. That's really what inspired the whole book, right? Is, is one person who speaks out leads to 10 more people, leads to 50 people. And now before you know it, we've had millions of people all over the world who are speaking out and, and speaking about issues that they care about. And it's really important to teach our kids that I think as early as possible. And then this last picture is of me, my mom and my aunt. And that was from just a year ago when my aunt Kamala announced that she was going to run for president. So that's my book. Thank you so much for, for being with me and, and listening to my story. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks so much again for your support.